Oh, dear Rose here, and today we're going to be talking about a paper called Death is the Event Horizon of Reason. And what I mean by this is the idea that uh, something I call apocalyptic thinking, or thinking where if we don't do X, the world is going to end, to speak generally, is, uh, is pretty much the end of democracy. Uh, once you have apocalyptic thinking part of your system, there, what's there to debate? Uh, you have to do it. Whatever X is, you have to do it. And there's something extremely tempting about this extremist thinking, this ultimatum thinking, because I don't have to debate you. If I, uh, if I believe that if we don't do X, the world's going to end, then there's nothing to debate. I don't have to waste my time on you. We're, we're going to do X. <laughs> you know, X is going to have to be done. And now I'm not saying there aren't things that perhaps are extremely bad, but... I, it absolves me, once I think the world is going to end if we don't do X, or that mass injustice will spread, or that freedom will be destroyed, or the Founding Fathers will be forsaken, or whatever. All of these are different gradients, they're different uh, versions of apoc apocalyptic thinking to less extremist views. Once I do that, I don't have to think. I just have to fight. And I, and I certainly don't have to debate with you, because I'm wasting time when, in every minute that goes by, the world becomes closer to the apocalypse. The world, the world is closer to a, a mass grave of injustice. And, 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 and so, you know, get out of my way. And, and so I don't think it's by chance that as apocalyptic thinking, uh, which I like that phrase versus extremism, because I think extremism has lost its ability to mean anything to us. Um, and also, uh, you know, if I get called an extremist and I, and I think I'm right, well, then it's a compliment. And if also you call me an extremist and I think that the world's going to end if we don't do X, I go, well, yeah, I'm an extremist, but I'm happy to be an extremist if it will save the world. And so we create various moral justifications around being an extremist. So I don't like the term extremist. It's it just doesn't seem to work anymore. Um, I think we need something new like an apocalyptic thinking or apocalyptic thinking. And the general formula that's put forth is this idea um, where if, um, if I don't do Y, X will cease to exist, then X must do Y. If I don't do Y, X ceases to exist, X must do Y. That's kind of the basic formula. Um, there, there can be no debate here if I'm X. I'm going to do Y, because otherwise I cease to be, and the possibility of even cho choosing goes out the door. And apocalyptic thinking is absolutely taken over democracy around the world, um, on all sides, both sides. And I don't think the quality of—we keep talking about wanting to fix democracy and getting back to decency and getting back to principles— None of that's going to happen unless you get rid of apocalyptic thinking. And the, 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 the conflict of mind, the book, is going to explore other things that we have to do to make democracy possible um, and also dilemmas we have to overcome. But we're certainly not going to get there if we continue to have apocalyptic thinking. And of course, you can shoot back and you say, well, what if it's true? Okay, well, well maybe it is true, but, but it should be the last of all possible um, premises that one assents to because it's the end of the debate. And I feel like today it's the first premise that people assent to because they know how powerful it is. Um, people don't assent to an apocalyptic um, view after years and years of looking after every alternative and trying to find more moderate views. No, they, they jump right to it because they know it shuts down to the debate and they're automatically right. They don't have to talk to anyone because if it's going to end the world, then wasting time contributes to the world ending and waste time when we could fight it. Um, and although I do not deny the possibility of that scenario, um, we really should do everything in our power to not accept it, um, and assume that that scenario is the accurate description before we try every single less uh, less extreme view, uh, more moderate views before we get there. Uh, because because once you do, once you accept apocalyptic thinking, uh, it's over. There there can there cannot be democracy, and so we really need to avoid it as much as possible. We need to not think in those premises and various versions of it, even though the temptation to do so is so great because it absolves us the responsibility of thinking. It put, it even puts us as a, in a kind of moral role where we then have the moral edge because we're saving the world or we're stopping injustice or we're preserving freedom or we're, we're you know, ending racism or redeeming the founding fathers, whatever. We're then like a moral hero. Uh, so there's a temptation in um, apocalyptic thinking in that way. Uh, and also, it's really easy to form a, a tribe, to form a voter block around apocalyptic thinking, because nothing motivates people uh, so much as the apocalypse. Like, once you start talking about the end of the world, that, that will motivate people. And also, maybe perhaps in our cynical age and age where nothing seems to reach people, we have to go to that extreme now to, to shake them awake. 
you know, maybe that's what's going on too, is that we, that people are so emotional dull that we feel like we have to go to these extremities to get people to do anything because otherwise they don't do anything. But even if that were true, it doesn't change the fact that apocalyptic thinking ends debate and destroys the possibility of democracy. So, you know, if we're at the place now where people are so numb that only apocalyptic thinking wakes them up, then it's already too late. Anyway, this is uh, Death is the Event Horizon of Reason. You can find more at ogrose.com, uh, and thank you for your time.